بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم ورحمۃ اللہ وبرکاتہ ویورس وی ول اپلائی فروبینیس میتھڈ ٹو سالو دا آرڈنری ڈیفرینشیل ایکویشن ان دس لیکچر سولوشن بائی فروبینیس میتھڈ یوز میتھڈ اف فروبینیس ٹو فائنڈ دا سیریز سولوشن ان ایکس اف دا ڈیفرینشیل ایکویشن 2x d square y by dx k plus dy by dx minus y is equal to zero. Now uh, this is the differential equation, second order differential equation. For singular uh, singular points, as you know, we have to put the coefficient of higher higher order derivative to zero, and here higher order derivative is two, and its uh, coefficient is 2x. Putting this 2x is equal to zero, we have x is equal to zero. This is obviously singular point. Next, in order to classify uh, this singular point into regular or in irregular singular point, we have to consider uh, we have to convert the original differential equation into standard form. And this is the standard form of the differential equation in which the coefficient of second order derivative is always one. And as you know, in this standard form, here we have p of x that which is the coefficient of y dash x, and uh, the coefficient of y is q of x uh, remember this is capital p of x and this is capital q of x when we multiply this p of x by x this will become small p of x and that should be analytic similarly the uh, multiplying this q of x by x square we will have small q of x now uh, we see how we do it uh, Uh, as i told you that this is capital p of x and that this is uh, q of x therefore uh, rewriting this uh, in this particular form y double dash plus p of x y dash plus q of x is equal to 0 and uh, here p of x is equal to 1 over 2x q of x is equal to minus 1 over 2x but next we have to do we have to multiply p of x with x minus 0 or x and this gives you x into 1 over 2x this gives you 1 over 2 and as you know 1 over 2 mean this function is differentiable one its derivative is zero derivative exists so this is analytic similarly x minus uh, x minus 0 square into q of x is equal to x square into minus 1 by 2 qx is equal to minus 1 by 2x this is once again differentiable and therefore both are analytic at x is equal to 0 so x is equal to 0 is a regular singular point now uh, after the classification of uh, uh, singular point into regular singular point we are in position to apply the frobenius method to find the general solution now according to the frobenius method this is uh, this method is diff uh, this method differs from the previous uh, methods uh, for, uh, because here exponent of x is taken n plus r instead of xn once again i repeat when we Uh, uh find the solution of the series about an ordinary point we put n approaches 0 to infinity a n x is to power n but frobenius method is applicable when the when we have we have to find the solution about regular singular point and in this uh, method we have to uh, change the series solution uh, in this particular form in which uh, r is additional power of x and uh, as you know due to presence of this r we have initial equation and we have to find the value of r and this is extra labor which we have to do for the uh, regular singular point okay by the solution of one then it must satisfy one if this is the solution of the original differential equation one then this should must satisfy differential equation and what was that 2x y double dash plus y dash minus y is equal to 0 obviously replacing this uh, y double dash by its double derivative and here uh, we have uh, at the moment we uh, and we we do not take its derivative and we are just uh, applying here sub, uh, derivative symbols here now taking its second derivative we have n plus r into n plus r minus 1 x n plus r minus 2 keep in mind second derivative first in the first derivative you will get n plus r here n plus r and x plus x raised for n plus r minus 1 and then once again we will put the power here n plus r minus 1 and we will have x raised for 
n plus r minus 2 and this is the second derivative of this form where a n is kept as uh, kept as it is because because it is constant obviously from here this expression by taking its uh, first derivative we will have n plus r into x raised to the power n plus r minus 1 and obviously this is kept as it is because this is the value of y now uh, simplifying we have this one x raised to the power n plus r minus 1 and here x raised to the power n plus r minus 1 and here we have x raised to the power n plus r what strategy we have to do here we have to actually equate the powers of x uh, uh, in all the summations and uh, we can take common x raised to the power r from all these three summations look at here the here we have x raised to the power r here we have x raised to the power r here we have x raised to the power r we can take common x raised to the power r from these three summations because uh, summation x on n and this is this term x raised to the power r is free from n this uh, uh, will not be affected by the summation therefore we can take it outside the summation similarly we can take the here x raised to the power r outside the summation and x raised to the power r can be taken from this summation as well now x raised to the power r uh, can be taken common from three summations and finally it will be divided by zero uh, it, it will divide zero and become zero means uh, this will this term x raised to the power r will be managed and we will have this thing now here look at the difference here we have x raised to the power n minus 1 and here we have x raised to the power n minus 1 here we have x raised to the power n uh, what we uh, were doing in the last uh, lectures previous lectures where we uh, were solved uh, uh, we were uh, we were solving the questions about ordinary point and uh, we were making uh, x raised to the power n in all the terms equal and uh, we were making a summation in all the terms equal. Summation all the terms equal means summation should start from zero or one or something else. But uh, starting value of uh, all the summation should be same, and uh, x is per x uh, power of x should be same in all the summations. Okay. Uh, what here we do? Here we combine x is per n minus one because here we have two terms. Two summations in which we have x raised to the power n minus one. That's why we have taken common a n and x raised to the power n minus one from these two summations, keeping this summation aside. Okay, this will uh, after the simplification uh, becomes, and uh, once again simplifying, we have two n plus two r minus one into n plus r, a n x raised to the power n minus one, and this summation remains as it is. Okay, what is the next step? what is the next step we have just put here n is equal to zero now uh, my question is uh, uh, from you if we put n is equal to zero then for the next term the summation will start from what number what number one yes yes it's correct if you put n is equal to zero here we will we will have first we will have first term aside and then we have to start summation from n is equal to 1. Okay, look at here, putting n is equal to 0 in the first term and starting the summation from n is equal to 1, we have this. Obviously, this will become 2r minus 1 into r a naught x raised for minus 1. And what, what we are doing here, we have to uh, uh, equate the powers of x in both summations. And this can be done only if we put n is equal to n plus 1 here. And therefore, in the first summation, everywhere we replace n by n plus 1. Here we have n, we replace n by n plus 1. Here we have n, we replace n by n plus 1. Here we have n, we replace n by n plus 1. And once again, here we have n, we replace this n by n plus 1. And finally, for uh, uh, the purpose which we are, uh, which, 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 uh, for which we are we were doing this uh, replacing n by n plus one we have here and what uh, it does min plus one minus one will cancel out giving you x raised to the power n this was our purpose to uh, equate the powers of uh, x in the both series okay 
here we have this one this one will be cancel out and n will start from 0 to infinity and here we have x raised to power n okay in both uh, uh, summations uh, we are succeeded in uh, uh, starting from n is equal to 0 and uh, keeping x raised to power n both summations okay after doing this we can take common from uh, uh, these two summations x raised per n giving you this term minus this term a n and taking common x raised per n from this uh, as i told you in the previous lecture uh, while defining the initial equation this is the coefficient of lowest power of x and obviously uh, the initial equation is obtained by equating the coefficient of lowest power x to zero obviously this is the coefficient of lowest power of x lowest power of x is here x raised to minus 1 because here we will have x raised to 0 and lowest power is here minus 1 this is the lowest power and its coefficient is r into 2 r minus 1 a naught and when we equate this r into 2 r minus 1 a naught is equal to 0 this will give you the initial equation as you know we have a, a, a direct method for finding the initial equation as well in which uh, what was that method in which we write uh, x into p of x in polynomial form and get b naught. Similarly, uh, we write uh, x square into p of x uh, in polynomial form and we get c naught. And then, of course, we, we had a formula of initial equation. But here we are not applying that formula. We are finding initial equation by the direct substitution method. Because we have to complete a uh, question we have to solve the series, uh, we have to find the complete solution of the differential equation. That's why. Okay. Comparing coefficients of x minus 1, x raised per n, we have, this is the initial equation, which is uh, the coefficient, which, which is which is obtained by equating the coefficient of x raised per minus 1. r into 2 r minus 1 a, a naught is equal to 0. And this is the uh, coefficient of x raised per n equating to 0. And from here we have r into 2 r minus 1 is equal to 0. And this gives you the two values of r is equal to uh, r. One is r is equal to 0 and the other is r is equal to 1 by 2. After getting these two values, this was the extra labor which we had to do. As I earlier told you that in the Frobenius method, we have to find the values of r in addition. And though finding r from 7 we get, we put the value of r is equal to 0. Uh, sorry, uh, here we have the recurrence relation from equation number 7. a n plus 1 is equal to a n over this n plus 1 r, n plus 1 plus r into 2 n plus 2 r plus 1. And uh, putting the two values of r, obviously this recurrence relation in, involves r here and we got the values of r 0 and 1 by 2. When we put r is equal to 0 in this recurrence relation 9, we get, uh, sorry, first uh, uh, I think we are putting r is equal to 1 by 2. And when we put r is equal to 1 by 2 here and after the simplification, we will get this recurrence relation. When we put r is equal to 0 in this uh, uh, recurrence relation, we get this uh, uh, recurrence relation in another form. Therefore, we got two recurrence relations 10 and 11 from the 9 by making the substitutions of r is equal to 1 by 2 and r is equal to 0. Now, for uh, from 10 where we had put r is equal to 1 by 2 this gives you the values of a1 a2 a3 a4 and up to up so on and similarly from equation number 11 where which was uh, which was the recurrence relation obtained by putting r is equal to 0 we got the values of a0 a1 a2 now here this paragraph is very important to understand here we encounter something that did not happen when we obtained solutions about the about an ordinary point. When we were finding a solution about a ordinary point, we got coefficients in terms of a naught and a one. But here the situation is different one. We got the coefficients in terms of a naught. Here we got the coefficients. Uh, we got the uh, a a one a two a three in terms of a naught. And in the second column, you see, we once again got the uh, coefficients a1, a2, a3 in terms of a0. Therefore, this is very important. We have what looks to be two different sets of coefficients, but each set contains the same multiple of a0. If we omit this, uh, therefore, we have to omit a0 from these two columns. And we get here solution y1x is equal to x raised for 1 by 2. Y here 
solution is x raised to the power 1 by 2 1 plus sigma varies from and varies from 1 to infinity i think i have to tell it in your mother language here by x humne r ki value put ki hui hai 1 by 2 so ab x ki power 1 x ki power r common nikalti hai frobenius method mein aapne solution suppose kiya hua hai uh, a sigma n varies from 0 to infinity a n x ki power n plus r aur wo x ki power n plus r wo ban jayegi x ki power n plus 1 by 2 aur wo x ki power 1 by 2 common nikal jayegi aur ye term n is equal to 0 ke liye term 1 aa jayegi aur baki aapne c summation laga di n is equal to 1 to infinity aur isi tarah jo dusra solution aaya hai wo x ki power 0 yaad kare x ki power r phir common nikli hai isi tarah x ki power r nikli hai aur wo x ki power r jo hai wo x ki power 0 hai तो ये दो सॉल्यूशन हैं जो पिछले पीछे जो बात कर रहा था वो भी जरा आपको दोहरा देता हूं कि जब हमारे पास रेकरेंस रिलेशन i है r 0 और r 1/2 के लिए ओरिजिनल रेकरेंस रिलेशन वाली ये थी r 1/2 के लिए ये रेकरेंस रिलेशन आई r 0 के लिए ये आई इन दोनों से बारी-बारी जब हमने कॉलम वाइज ये जो कांस्टेंट्स निकाले तो वो सारे के सारे a नॉट की टर्म में आए जबकि सॉल्यूशन में आर्बिट्ररी कांस्टेंट दो होने चाहिए तो फिर वो कह रहा ये है कि चुके पहली रेकरेंस रिलेशन से भी कांस्टेंट जो हैं वो जो आ रहे हैं a1 a2 an वो सारे के सारे इन टर्म्स ऑफ a नॉट आ रहे हैं और ये भी सारे के सारे इन टर्म्स ऑफ a नॉट आ रहे हैं जब हम सॉल्यूशन में ये पुट करेंगे तो हमारे जो सॉल्यूशंस होंगे वो उनमें इंडिपेंडेंट उसमें आर्बिट्ररी कांस्टेंट एक ही होगा a नॉट जबकि दो होने चाहिए सेकंड ऑर्डर डिफरेंशियल इक्वेशन का सॉल्यूशन होने की वजह से यही बात उसने कर बताई है यहां पे कि जब हम ऑर्डिनरी पॉइंट्स के अबाउट सॉल्यूशन फाइंड कर रहे थे तो ये सिचुएशन हमारे पास नहीं आती थी हमारे पास एक तरफ एक कॉलम जो था वो ए नॉट की फॉर्म में आंसर देता था दूसरा ए1 की फॉर्म में आंसर देता था तो हमारे पास दो कांस्टेंट आ जाते थे अब चूंकि दो नहीं आ रहे तो इनको मिट कर दें और मिट करने के बाद सॉल्यूशन आपके पास आएंगे पहले वाला ये आएगा जिसमें आप x की पावर 1/2 लगा रहे हैं r 1/2 के लिए दूसरा जो है वो x की पावर 0 जब r 0 के लिए अब चूंकि ये सॉल्यूशंस आए हैं वारी डिफरेंशियल इक्वेशन के जो इनका लीनियर कॉम्बिनेशन भी डिफरेंशियल इक्वेशन का सॉल्यूशन होगा दैट्स व्हाई वी राइट हियर c1 1x c2 2x वेयर c1 इज द कांस्टेंट एंड हियर दिस y1x इज द वैल्यू ऑफ दिस एंड सिमिलरली c2 कांस्टेंट एंड दिस इज द वैल्यू ऑफ y2x होपफुली यू अंडरस्टैंड हाउ फ्रोबेनियस मेथड वर्क्स